G'day everyone, how are you going? Welcome to the tutorial for Inappropriate Behaviour by Lime Cordial. Um, before we get into it, just make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any tutorial requests, just comment them down below. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in some online lessons or something like that. I'm looking to set that up. Um, there's been a lot of positive feedback regarding that, so um, for all of those that it, for all of you out there who are interested, sorry, I will get around to sorting that out and um, hopefully we can we can organise a few lessons for you all out there and um, I'll get around to writing some tabs for some of the past tutorials I've made. Also, make sure you check out my second channel. I'll put the link in the corner here and in the description. For this song, there's a fantastic tab on uh, Ultimate Guitar, and I'll put the link to that just down below in the description uh, for you guys to follow along at home. It makes it a lot easier to learn this song. Um, however, the chords don't say the bar chords, which the band play live, so I'll hopefully shed a bit of light on that. So let's get into it. Okay, so the intro and the verses pretty much revolve around uh, the repetition of four chords. Um, I'll just play it first, it's a bit probably easier. The verse sounds like this. So what we've got in that is pretty much a C bar chord. So we've got the index finger barring the entire 8th fret. Then you have ring finger on the 10th fret of the A string, pinky finger on the 10th fret of the D, and then uh, middle finger on the 9th fret of the G. The second chord is an it's an E minor, I think, um, and it sounds like this. So first finger barring um, the entire seventh fret from the A string all the way down. Then you have third finger on the ninth fret of the D string, and then you have your middle finger on the what's that? The eighth fret of the B string. I'll put a tab for the chords behind me um, just because I feel like that makes it a bit easier when you follow along with the chord sheet in the description. So, so we've got the C major, we've got the E minor, the only other chords are an F, which is so all of fret 8 barred. And then you use your third finger to basically cover the D string, G string, and B string. If that's too hard, I, I you'd get away with just the just like a normal bar chord. I think it just sounds better if you can. Uh, basically, and then so that's the F. Then there's a G chord. So slide that structure to frets uh, ten and twelve. To make the G, and then back to the F, then back to the G. So the progression of the song works with C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, F, G, F, G, and then back to C, E minor. Um, following the the chord sheet or the tab in the description will make this a lot easier for me to explain. It also has the strumming pattern as well in the um, up the top there and it's got the right BPM. But just in case, um, the picking pattern is But yeah, this is all in the tab in the description. So if you haven't clicked it yet, click it. It'll make everything easier. Then, so that's the verses. Then, well, and that's pretty much all you need. 
The chorus, slightly different. It is, it sounds like this. She's what I say, a manipulator. It's just inappropriate behavior. To put those ideas in your head. Any way to sway you in her favor. Madness is the love. So. What we've got in the chorus, the C chord again. This, then it goes to a G. Then it goes to a D minor seven, which is basically the tenth fret barred with the third finger on the twelfth fret of the A string. And then for a little bit of confusion, we add the pinky onto the thirteenth fret of the B string. You don't have to add the pinky, but I'm pretty sure that the guitarist does. So, same picking pattern for the chorus. Um, it all works off the one picking pattern. But yeah, the only difference is it's a C. G. D minor 7. And then that's pretty much it for the song. Hey, there's not much else I need to add. Oh, after the second chorus, they do a sort of breakdown thing. But what it is, is it's just... Um to face but I don't see how I take it just not in smile falling at my feet again she's what I said so it's essentially like a breakdown part all they do is they alternate between F which is an F bar chord up the up the top here and a G and a G bar chord and it's just a single strum of each Besides that, that's all you need to know for the song. Very simple one, um, but make sure you hit the link in the description to go and view this tab because it will make everything I've just said a whole lot easier to understand. Besides that, thanks for watching everybody. Um, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Um, leave a tutorial request down below if you want one made. But um, yeah, see you soon.